Bronchosaurus Tales coming to you live on location. Okay, maybe it's not live, but we are on location. And what's unique about where I'm at today, I am in beautiful LJ, Georgia, which will be the future home site of the Bronchosaurus and the Steele family. But what's great about it is it's also the birth site of the Bronchosaurus. That's right. I ordered my Bronchosaurus right here from Ronnie Thompson Ford in beautiful LJ, Georgia. And I came over two hours away just so I could get it here and have the, the Ronnie Thompson experience. I'll tell you, my salesperson was absolutely phenomenal. Great experience, financing the whole way through. So I wanted to come up here, bring y'all up here, give you a look around. Plus you just you never know who you're gonna run into when you come up to Ella J and Ronnie Thompson. It's Coach Kirby Smart. Coach, we three-peating this year? Take that as a yes. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and let's head out to the service department. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing started and hopefully you can learn a little bit from it. So if this is something that you wanna be able to do on your own, you'll be able to learn from the video. And if it's not, highly recommend taking it to your local Ford dealership, letting them do it, let the experts handle it. And if you don't have one, again, I highly recommend Ronnie Thompson's Ford here in beautiful LJ, Georgia. Let's go. enough. Now Ford actually recommends that you have the oil changed every 7,500 miles, but I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards the air of caution and have mine done about every 5,000. I'm having this first service done at 3,500 miles. So I wanted to bring it to the experts and learn from them how to do it. So first thing I learned is as you can see, the service tech here is taking off the oil canister uh, and it is a replaceable filter. I do like that it's sitting on top and not underneath because one big benefit of this is you can actually remove this without uh, having to drain the oil. So that's one big benefit I like of these canister types. Definitely makes cleanup a lot easier. So next thing that the tech is doing is just he's inspecting my air filter. I am eventually going to upgrade this and put in a high performance air filter. Haven't decided which one to go with. So if you've got a suggestion, comment below the different brands. But as you can see, really easy just to, to remove and inspect. I'm going to put a link to the filter, the oil filter model below. So you know which one that he's using. Notice it does come with the three O-rings that you need to replace the oil filter. As you see here. Now, I guess one downside of not having the screw-in cartridge type is you could overlook replacing these O-ring filters. So definitely want to make sure that you replace all three of the O-ring that come with the oil filter. Otherwise, you could have some severe leaks. So again, pros and cons of having the, the cartridge type versus the screw-in type. But I, I do like this cartridge installation you really see how easy it is just to replace that oil filter and you notice we have not drained the oil yet so another big benefit of having this type of oil filter in the bronco so you just placing it on and and just tighten it in and it's really that simple to change the oil filter itself 
And also, anytime you're doing an oil change, it's always good just to top off all your fluids, your windshield washer fluid, your antifreeze, just making sure everything is good to go there is, is a good idea and a best practice. Now, another reason I decided to bring in my Bronco for the first service into the dealership is because I wanted to have the five tire rotation done. I know this is a very hot topic that's in a lot of the different Bronco forums. People talk about why to do the five tire rotation or why not to do the five tire rotation. And I just feel like if we're spending all this money on five tires, we should get to use all five tires. Plus I don't want to wear down my tires, my four tires, that need my fifth tire and it's just so much more traction and depth than the other one. So I want it to be evenly worn. So as you can see here, another benefit is they're able to, with this lift, it's much easier to do this and much easier to inspect the brakes and inspect the, inspect the lines. Plus it's just good because since I did have that four inch ready lift put on, I wanted to make sure everything looked good on it as well since I got about a thousand miles in on it. So back to the old change, as you can see here, we're just dropping this cover. Uh, which is really simple it was just four bolts and now we're going to drain the oil now as you see here the drain plug is actually really well designed and this is something that the tech even talked to me about uh, you really can just take this off with your hand you don't need another tool and the way it's designed when it opens man that oil flows now one thing i said to him was man that oil looks really dark for there to only be 3500 miles on my my bronco and he said, yeah, that's another reason why it's a good idea to kind of have that first servicing done a little earlier. Definitely don't hold off until the 7,500 recommendation. Uh, but uh, another really cool thing I'm gonna show you about that cap here in a minute that I, I love the way that, that Ford designed it because it really made a big difference when it comes to just making this oil change so simple and not as messy as other vehicles in the past. Now, as far as the design of that plug, what I love so much about it is it's an indented type system to where it locks in when you reach the tightness it needs to be at. So you don't have to get a torque wrench and tighten it to any specifics. I love that design. I think that's brilliant. Last, all you gotta do is just put the four bolts back in on the cover and we are ready to move on. As we go to finish up the five tire rotation, one tip that the tech said is, especially for the first time when you put that spare into rotation you want to make sure that you put it on one of the rear wheels and not to put it on one of the front wheels uh, i will put a link to the rotation that we used below so you can see how we rotated them around so that each tire is facing a different direction and i think that's kind of the best way to do it little side note I wanted to show you. Obviously, you know I replaced the stock wheels and tires. And since the wheels have a different offset, the tires would not hit that bump stock back there, which is puts me at risk of bending the tailgate, shattering the glass, which I have seen. So I used two lacrosse practice balls to put back there. And it actually supports it pretty well. So that's the orange balls that you see back there. Uh, it might be a temp fix, but it's working for me right now. So... If you got suggestions on other ways, comment below. And now we're to the point where we are going to put the new oil into the Bronco. Tell you this, I would love to have a piece of equipment like this that pumps like a gas pump, lets you know exactly how many quarts you're putting in. Just so you know, it is uh, six quarts of semi-synthetic that they're using here at the dealership. So that's, that's what I would be going with if I'm doing it on my own. Now that we're back on the ground, last step is just to get the torque specifics on all of the wheels. Definitely a supporter of the military, former vet myself, so I love seeing flags like this displayed in the service base. Final tip I'll leave with you is the tech said that once you've put the oil in, wait at least 10 minutes before checking it on the dipstick. Sometimes it can take at least that amount of time for the oil to all settle down in the oil pan so before you go adding in additional oil make sure you've waited at least 10 minutes all right guys hey first of all i want to send a huge thanks to my man jeff and josh here at ronnie thompson ford in beautiful lj georgia for taking care of the bronchosaurus i got to tell you watching these guys work is like a thing of beauty like they're, they're just so organized and so skilled at what they do and that's why i bring it to professionals 
But if you want to do it yourself, hopefully this video will help you in doing that. Uh, I would say two person job was what, 20, 25 minutes? And if you're doing it yourself, maybe 30, 35, 35 minutes, good deal. Well, again, I'm super excited to have the first service done. We did the five tire rotation, as you saw, did the oil change, they did the complete service. Again, I can't thank you guys enough, so I really appreciate it. Thank y'all. And definitely want to give a shout out to Ronnie Thompson in LJ, Georgia, where not only did I have this service, but this is where the Broncosaurus was born. Till next time, guys. Catch you on the flip side.